Hello. So, well, welcome to this uh, showcase of these few rings from Kritza's success. A uh, couple months ago, maybe a year, I came by this uh, Kickstarter site for guys who uh, plans to produce rings like this. These are basically spinning rings that are around for some time now. Uh, <coughs> the spinning <coughs> design aspect of that, that is. What they had uh, in mind is to make markings on those rings, on those spinning part, to make them into sort of a random numbers generators or dice. So they have a whole range of rings like these that should represent various dices from this 3D sixes, which is six size six sided dice, three of them, to 20 sided dice, uh, 100 sided dice, etc. Uh, usually these will be used in various tabletop games or paper RPGs like D&D and stuff. So if you want to use uh, something else other than dice in these games, you can opt for one, one of these rings. Uh, the other function of these obviously is that they work as jewelry, which is uh, really nice with this one. As, uh, you know, this, this one has uh, typical dice markings. So it's instantly recognizable by anybody that this is a dice ring, this represents a dice. While others, like 20 sided dice, they have uh, Arabic numbers, this is yes no ring. So it might not be as uh, obvious to what they should mean. They probably don't work as well as jewelry, but uh, they definitely work as a dice. Uh, now. Uh, you might find on the YouTube the video of the original company that showed these rings. Uh, there was one issue that they had. is They were uh, demonstrating the function of a ring like this. And it constantly uh, came up with the same, with the same uh, numbers. You know, it always rolled the same, same numbers. Like three times in a row, almost the same. You can see here there are these markings that show what what you actually l l rolled, and if we spin them and try to find to get a result, to test for is you can see that four is quite often here, and the others uh, somewhat switch. To, uh, I think this is an issue that is very hard to overcome with these rings. Unless you stop it manually, like you stop it random at random places, keep them spin, then you stop it, they might take a different result. Otherwise, they will tend to stop at the same time over and over again. And the reason for that is even a tiny bit of fraction inside can cause them to stop easily because uh, these spinning parts are very light, so they don't have a uh, very strong uh, well they, they will be easily stopped <laughs> and uh, the other issue with this the six sided dice is that uh, each number is pretty wide you know the the field for each number is pretty wide so uh, it's pretty easy for the for them to end up at the pretty much the same spot whereas if you have something like 20 sided die you know, one, one field is like this big and to hit the same field twice in a row is a lot more difficult. Otherwise, I still think uh, that regular dice would do a better job of getting a random number. But uh, I pers purchased this as, as jewelry, not as a gaming gear, primarily. So... I don't really mind that. I expected this to be the case, so uh, that's okay for me. Now, this one, as you can see and probably here, 
uh, isn't cleaned yet it's not uh, this won't end up uh, as my property so I didn't really did much to it uh, there obviously are some leftovers between those two rings this one I cleaned so the roll is much smoother and there is a video on the Great Success, Great Success channel that will show you how to clean it as well you will get this fancy uh, fancy guide how to clean the ring with with the order so that shouldn't be a big problem uh, and uh, that probably covered that uh, dice functionality personally I just bought it as as jewelry not as a gear now so we have here to to look at uh, this 3d6 ring which represents as I again said uh, three six-sided dice so the regular dice you could come up combine with there's a logo uh, inside this one is obviously the black variant they have several several color variants so you can pick your own what you may notice here between those spinning rings there's some missing paint this is how it came in uh, I expect it's from uh, the process when they put these spinning rings inside or it can be missed a uh, spot for the coloring the color should be implied by chemical uh, way so it's, it should be not likely to get scratched off then again the force or the method they put the spinning part in can be quite the roof I imagine so I have this flaw here especially on this uh, black colored ring it kind of shines uh, so it's fairly easy to notice then again this part I usually wear inside my palm so other people shouldn't be able to see it quite easily and well I'm in Czech Republic so the post post uh, <clears throat> cost will be bigger than <laughs> the cost of the ring so I don't intend to, uh, to send it back and get a refund or get another piece anything like that because it would be it would be probably cheaper for me to order a different ring if I wanted but this is something they overlooked I can imagine this can happen in the in the manufacturing process but they should have checked for the perfection better especially when it's shipped around the globe this one seems okay again there's some dirt inside again you can see the Squidsauces logo in it yes no ring makes can you help can you well, can help you make some difficult decisions in your life so that's that's in it by black again you can see how wide it is it's about half one half wider than the 3d the 3d6 drink and here we have a counter ring which is really interesting piece it's in uh, rainbow color this is one of the more expensive ones because of the, a com more complicated system it works in as you can see there's a spring in the middle that pushes these two rings away from the center here you have marking points and you can easily put whatever number you want from 0, zero to 99 or from zero, 01 to 100 whatever you want to look at it and this should uh, help you keep that number as uh, remembered for example you know you can have your hit point count kept here so you don't if you don't forget how many hit points you have or mana or whatever it can be also used in practical life so uh, one thing to note you can see that the spring is a regular non-colored metal which is a little bit shame considered you know it doesn't fit in the in the rest of the ring i imagine with the black variant 
it would be black although I'm not sure uh, the rainbow color itself is beautiful and there you can see it has a different logo just a dragon I think maybe this is the new logo because this is what they use on their website but this is on their rings CS quit success you can see the C is the, the ring itself this logo this is probably a new one that you can see on the page I don't know maybe uh, and you know there are the markings otherwise pretty nice ring so that should be it they're, they're great I, I think they're the original and they're pretty fancy the only problem I find again is the color missing on the 3d six ring so if you're interested in them just google their name or you can find uh, some links in the description for the store and such thank you for for watching and see you next time